On Wednesday, these halls will be fully filled with students, a sight I'm told hasn't been seen since last March. And although this school year comes with its fair share of the unknown, one thing's for certain, everyone can't wait for a full year of being back in the class. As Hannah Kemper puts the finishing touches on her classroom, she can't wait to welcome her first grade students on Wednesday. I was never a teacher before the pandemic, so I think that uh, being in the classroom, it just, I'm just like bright eyed and bushy tailed, so excited to start the school year. It's the first time she gets to start the school year teaching in person. It is a world of difference being in person with your students. It's eight hours a day versus a couple of one hour, 45 minute lessons. A feeling second grade teacher Sarah Weedman shares. Like Kemper, she spent the day getting ready for her flock of second grade students. And she can't wait to implement what she's learned from last year. We can use technology in multiple ways. And it also really helped increase my ability to uh, make contact with families. Being able to hop on a Google Meet and show a parent exactly what their child has succeeded on for the day was something so powerful. COVID-19 cases are rising and have already affected attendance at other school districts. But Weedman says with the guidelines in place at JCPS, she's not worried as she'll use the in-person time to do what she does best, teach. One of the biggest things in teaching is modeling. Even though I have been vaccinated, I'm modeling the expectation to my students that I'm going to wear the mask and we're all keeping each other safe. Although no one knows what this school year will look like, the staff at J.B. Atkinson Academy have one thing in common. We are Atkinson Academy! And we're so glad to be back in school. Woo! In Louisville, Minaj Pongwari, WLKY 